first thing you do is you say your name and then spell out your last name for me. My name is Jeff Spies. It's spelled S-P-I-E-S. -E okay. And who do you work for? I'm with AEE Solar. I'm the training and trade show manager. Okay. Just for the record. Now, you're hosting a conference that basically teaches contractors how to professionally install and maintain these systems. What sort of license would a contractor or technician need in order to take your course? It depends on the state, but here in Arizona, you would need to be a licensed electrical contractor uh, to be able to perform a grid tie installation or have a partnership with a licensed electrical contractor to do the system wiring. The same is true in California and many other states throughout the country. Okay, now how often do you hold your training sessions per year? Uh, last year we conducted uh, 25 training events ranging from a single day events to two day events including the five day SEI courses similar to what we're conducting today. And uh, how big is it, how great is the demand in Arizona for these installers of uh, these systems? Well, the, the demand has been uh, not as great yet per capita, I guess you would say, in Arizona as in places like California, although we actually have some fairly significant incentives that are helping us to rapidly grow the market. Uh, in the coming year, we anticipate $120 million to be available from the state government for incentive programs. And the way that that works is they fund $3 a watt of the uh, installation cost, which is roughly a third of the price of the system installed in the federal government has expanded the federal tax credit to 30% of system costs. So in Arizona, you can get roughly 60% of system cost uh, addressed with either incentives from the utility, APS, SRP, TEP, or from uh, the federal government with the 30% tax credit. Now, if I was one of these contract leads, one of the contractors, how would be an effective way for me to start my own business or, or join a business that's currently installing these systems? Typically, most contractors will enter the industry through programs like our Launch and Grow Your Solar Business webinar that we conduct two to three times every month and uh, coming to training events such as we're hosting today. Generally speaking, the best course of action for a new, somebody new to the industry that might already be a licensed contractor is to complete the beginning and the advanced EV training courses through Solar Energy International or an equivalent training organization. And uh, typically, in order to get certified, they would also need to complete at least two system installs before they sit for the certification test. And who runs those certification tests? The state do it? Does ABS take care of that sort of thing? Or? Some states do have their own certification process. There is a national body known as NABSEP, which stands for North American Board of Certified Energy Practitioners, that does administer a certified PV installer test. And it is being viewed at this point as the de facto certification for quality solar installations here in the U.S. Have you heard of any like, success stories from these have from individuals who've taken your courses and all, and they've gone on to actually work in the industry and become effective and great installers? Well, and, and the reality is that uh, probably 75 to 80 percent of all of our new dealers are already licensed contractors. They might be electrical contractors, HVAC contractors, possibly roofing companies or general contractors. And as far as success, absolutely. Many of the people that come through these programs actually go on to long, successful careers in the solar business. Obviously, there is uh, some of the folks that go through these trainings that uh, may not stay in the industry, but uh, by and large, we feel that this course of training that we advocate is one of the best chances of maximizing your success in this industry. Sorry for interrupting. Um, overseas, there's a lot of places in the world that don't have access to electricity. Do you find that Overseas companies, or do you find that overseas companies might have a huge demand for installing and maintaining TV systems in, let's say, Africa or third world countries? In fact, uh, a fair bit of our business is off grid. One of that we started in the off grid market. Our founder was a pioneer of the industry, uh, may have done the first large scale purchase of PV modules for residential PV, and at the time it was all off grid. In fact, the industry was off grid for 20 years before grid tie really started to come into play. And uh, even today, we have dealers that are located in Africa and Asia and South America and, and many other remote parts of the world. They might use a little module like you see here, which is a 20-volt solar module that we sell for battery-based systems, oftentimes remote power systems or small uh, uh, battery-based systems for cabins. And oftentimes in developing nations, this is the most cost-effective form of electrical power generation because they don't have ready access to propane or gasoline or diesel for uh, generators and, uh, and generating electricity in some of these remote areas just is not a viable option unless they were to use a small module such as this. That's very interesting. Um, and as a current demand, current President Bush mandated by 2015 
um, solar energy needs to meet grid parity, which is, from what I understand, the price of solar energy needs to be about equal to or maybe a bit more, a bit less than what fossil fuels can currently produce right now. Do you think this, the industry will meet that mandate by 2015? It's difficult for me to predict the future when it comes to these types of issues. I certainly believe that that's a viable objective with the proper support from government and recognition by homeowners and business owners of what this technology is capable of doing. With the new incentive programs that are in place, you can see return on investments in some cases under five years. So you pay your system off in five years and that is producing free electricity for many years to come.